Now, we're behind the scenes of the X Factor studios. Yeah. Um, whose room is this exactly? This is the green room. So this is used by lots of different people for when we've ah, got interviews and stuff. Nice. My room is down the end and I call it um, prisoner cell block H because it's the small dressing room. Being the new judge, I've got the little one at the end. Really? Pshh. Well, I notice a bit of candles and, and flowers in here. Do you have any particular requirements backstage? Um, I've got Jo Malone candles and I've got Lola Rose candles and I have a tea set Ooh. with a cake stand and well, how a teapot. Yeah, because <laughs> we're here all day, so it's like you, right. you go through every meal. So and how many how many teacups do you have to, to and share? Six with teacups. Do you, do you My room is always in? packed. It's the smallest, but it's always <laughs> the most packed. Who comes along to party up with you? Um, well, I've got friends coming every week, and they're kind of like golden tickets because mm. this many people want to come, and I've got this many tickets. Um, but everybody comes to my room, and then my contestants come in, and so my friends all want to meet them, and it just turns into a party. Yeah. Now, I've... I've I mean, according to other talent shows, I mean, this one's quite different because, I mean, not only are you a judge, but you're also a mentor as well. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. You, I mean, you're referring to your contestants as your contestants. So. Yeah, sorry. I forget that it's different um, well, than you know, the shows that you have in Australia. We're idolised in Australia. You are idolised, yeah. In this one, we audition everyone together, the four judges, and then it gets split into four groups. You've got over 25s groups, under 25 boys and under 25 girls. And then you're given a group. And then out of that group, you have to whittle it down from six people to three contestants. Wow. And then you have to keep those three in the show as long as you can. And I'm the only judge left standing with three really? at this current point. Go Team Minogue. Go Team Minogue. <laughs> yeah, because it's, I don't know, I always thought, you know, the other judges have three years experience on me mm -hmm. so I can't catch up as far as that's concerned but I have performed so I can get with you know my contestants and fast track things a little bit because when I'm talking to them about the performance I actually really know what it feels like and know what they're going through and know yeah. how nerve-wracking it is and can kind of when they hear me say Stop out of it they understand they take it on board rather than me just screaming at them they know that All right. that I know what it feels like so yeah, I've managed to keep them in. Yeah, good on you. Well, that sounds fantastic. Now, I have to say, thank God for YouTube, because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be able to watch certain clips I know. from the show. Now, I've seen you What's um, the quite... the funniest one you've seen? Uh, you uh, having a blind date on The Extra Factor. Oh, uh, yeah. With some dude. <laughs> and he cooked prawns for you outside of the studios. <laughs> Because it was an Australian kind of day. <laughs> oh, Australian right, there we go. Date. He's hitting there right on the heart, is he? Yeah, it was going really well until I said, um, you know, what's your favourite film? And he just says, Schindler's List. And I thought, Ooh, oh, okay. Right. <laughs> Pretty deep. I like that film too, but probably not a first date kind of an answer. <laughs> <laughs> now, what happens with that guy? Is he just gone off the face of the planet now for you? Yes, I don't know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> I've also um, seen, uh, I mean, in the initial process, you would like witness all kinds of randoms. There was one woman that absolutely swore her head off yeah, at you guys. Really she lost scary. it. That her was name's in, Jane or something? Um, no, it wasn't Jane. All right. She, that was in Cardiff. Right. And I had some friends over. Rachel, that was her name. Rachel. We always just call her the girl with the eyes. Because it's like... <laughs> She's the first person that's ever freaked out at the boom microphone and actually touched it. She was so paranoid and and weird and it was a little bit confronting. Um, obviously, there was a lot of bleeping going on, so you didn't hear exactly what she said, and I think that's a good thing. Yeah, that's pretty scary. I can't even scary. ever repeat in a million years what she said. No, no. <laughs> we shan't go there. Now, I've also noticed a bit of bickering as well amongst the judges in, in yeah. the news results that I get when I look up your name. Yeah. Uh, Sharon Osborne, one of them. How do you really get along with her? I think the press have loved jumping on the back of there's two women on a show, so they must right. be hat fighting. We certainly don't agree on everything, but I don't agree with the other boys too, you know. And I guess they weren't expecting that. Mm. They're expecting, oh, she's a singer, she's just going to come on and go, yeah, I like everything. And but you're bold. They were really surprised when I was very opinionated and not 
scared to have an opinion and I think that's really important I think the only place we've ever clashed is when they weren't expecting that and right. I said young people have opinions about music yes and I'm here to represent that and I'm not going to shut up if I feel passionate about something so I think now we've got over that hump yes good well and, we're, and we're ready for the fight <laughs> <laughs> we've gone over the hump but I've also read that uh, Simon Cowell has um, generated some chemistry towards you admitted that he's looked at your butt well there was a picture <laughs> of us filming I'm standing up to um, to shake someone's hand that was had come in to sing and I don't know if it was just the camera angle <laughs> but it looked like he was looking at my right. butt so I wrote in my blog I said I think I just caught caught you out right. and I got in big trouble for that really <laughs> by the producers or something oh no he just said I wasn't I said well it looked like you were in the picture well he is kind of your boss in a way right yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah we won't go there <laughs>